Hi everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you my evening skincare routine plus five anti-aging skincare tips at the end of the video. So please keep on watching and also subscribe to my channel and I would love to see you guys and coming back, watch my channel, leaving comments and even though my channel is still quite small and but I love it. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, let me take you through the simple steps of my evening skincare routine. Step number one, which is cleansing. Today I've already cleansed my face but and you could see that I have some eyebrows painted on and I have some lashes there and I have a lip gloss and I apologize because it's not a complete bare face and because I'm sorry I just can't do this whole bare facing but the most important thing today is to show you the steps whatever I do but the rest of my skin I have cleansed it but usually when I cleanse my skin this is the Chanel Le Gel and this is a such a good gel cleanser I've been using this for quite a few years I've been really loving it and it cleanses really well including makeup and it doesn't dry out the skin after the skin is being cleansed and also sometimes I have a few pimples and spots just breaks out I normally use this AHA Japanese brand and this has an um, AHA in it so it gives the skin a good exfoliation and remove the dead skins because so let me just begin with the second step which is I'm showing a routine of how to do a scraping massage for the skin with this scraping massage you do need a little um, tool like this and in Chinese this scraping massage is called a gua sha which is an ancient Chinese method for depuffing the skin skin and regenerating the um, glow to the skin and the tightening the skin apparently is, is such a natural way of getting the skin look fresh and lifted. Apparently some there's some myths that apparently this can be have like a little facelift effect but I'm quite skeptical about that one but I still but I love the, the rest of the benefits with this facial scraping massage. Uh, why you need this kind of like a jade little tool is is that because this is kind of like a curve got a little ergonomic like a curve so if it fits the shape you know the shapes and curves of the facial structure without further waffling let me just start on scraping massage and I've, I use this Clarins double serum as a massage oil decent amount of warms it up in the palm of the hand and then just apply evenly to the whole face cover everywhere and the neck why we use a massage oil is that it helps the jade spatula to glide over the skin easy therefore the skin won't get stretched and the torn use it as a good medium plus uh, keep the skin moisturized never ever just do it on dry skin because you might pull the skin and the muscle and the tendons underneath which is not good because it causes damage or aging we're starting from the forehead just starting from the middle just gripping up make sure the spatula is closer to the skin not doing this like scrape scraping that's harsh do it with a 45 degree angle so you can see immediately the skin turns red because with this scraping it generates blood flow therefore it will get rid of the toxins sitting on the face if there's any water retention it would get scraped out of the face you can see it, um I don't have any uh, obvious lines um, on my forehead but I do have a couple of like frowning lines over here so I just tend to just scrape it always starting in the middle outwards never just do this like um, going over thing that's a big no-no so always starting in out in out doing this scraping scraping outward and this side does the same towards the temple just above the eyebrow because there are loads of acupressure points along the eyebrows or and on the eyebrows so just do this at the temple pushing it down the rest of the forehead you just scrape it towards the hairline 
you can see where I had the jade spatula um, over it already um, looks a bit which is good because afterwards the skin gets really warm and feels really really lovely I don't really tend to do the nose area and then after I've done the forehead normally I just move on to the cheeks so to begin with and uh, I will start around the eyes as well so with the eyes that because it's very gentle use the smaller tip don't pull it but just do it small make sure that you have enough oil around the area so the spatula glides and also from the inner in out so from here out to the temple out to the temple, out to the temple. Make sure you're always very, very gentle with the eye area and at the top as well. Just you can feel this the um, eye socket, the bones are just along that line and just do it like that. eyes doesn't have to do too much and then we move on to the and eye area again starting from here let it just glide towards the ear towards the ear and then press just in front of the ear press it hard because that there's some acupressure point this is um, lymphatic drainage as well afterwards the skin is lovely and glowing because it's kind of like a deep tissue massage so even though I'm not supposed to do that way but sometimes I do it doesn't really matter let it glow glow you can see this stroke movement is quite long it's almost like the effleurage when um, you do the like facial massage the chin so it always starts in the middle so do it about each area do about five to 10 times depending uh, you know if you like you can do it a little bit longer once you've done the whole area i normally just starting like this you see this is the ergonomically you can see just at the bottom of my just below my eye and the covers the smiling line at the corner of my mouth so i'm just going to have this whole spatula which i do it slowly slow scraping outwardly and then turn once you reach our ear area and then scrape it down and then let it go under your jawline and then scrape do it again so this one stroke is very important because you release the toxins or whatever and towards the hairline and then you, you scrape them towards the hairline towards the ear so with this simple you push all the fluids or whatever into the lymphs so this is like lymphatic drainage massage make sure you do not break it don't do this and then just do this but you can but preferably just do one big stroke you know that everything get pushed down because around the neck there's loads loads of lymph nodes so a such a good area to get rid of toxins so that's the can you see my right face is a bit more i don't know maybe uplifted slightly a little bit but now this side is done it's lovely and warm so i'm going to finish off this side And then you can do a little bit of scraping um, on the neck 
but not in the middle because you've got the thyroid over so don't have the spatula over the thyroid on the either side is okay look at my necklines it's something i need to tackle i've been trying to find a method to reducing it but it's very hard maybe i have to go to a aesthetic a clinic and then to get it sorted but i've been procrastinating because generally my skin on my face is quite good but it's just this neckline maybe because of my job i'm constantly get sucked into my computer and then um just that posture is bad if you want to do it more and then you can carry it over and then just scraping from inside towards the shoulder that's kind of like a very very good scraping massage for getting rid of the like lymphatic because this whole area the lymph nodes around and the armpits around the armpits so just get that scraped over so that's it you can see my skin now is lovely and glowing but because of the, the massage oil next i'm going to um use a toner uh, to tone my skin so this is a clarence toner it's called a bright plus so i'm just going to get rid of the excessive oil and then we move on to the next step never pulling it always make sure that the whatever you do it glides over the skin because pulling it might cause tearing and wrinkle because if you do it once it's not that bad but if you do it repeatedly day in day out twice a day so that's kind of like quite a lot of damage so always just let it glide it over so we're going to move on to step four mask and uh, there are two masks I'm going to use, or actually three, because there's two on the eyes and one for the face. So this is a called a Snail Repair Intensive Gold Eye Gel Pad. So there's a little um, spade <laughs> for lifting the look there like this. Here, open it. Not very good at doing this. It's called a freezing mask. Especially in the summer, if your skin, you've been out for the whole day, your skin get burned a little bit and then put this on. It's really repairing and uh, I'll leave the mask on for about 10 minutes and I'll come back. Right, it's about 10 minutes, so I'm going to remove this. But don't throw it away immediately and use the remaining serum and rub it on the back of hand, the other hand, and also roll it on the neck as well. And then give her the neck a good massage. And uh, the next step is moisturizing. For moisturizers, first of all is, you can see, this is a um, Korean brand. I think I've done in my K-Beauty unboxing. This is a retinoid eye cream, eye serum. It's from the brand called the Beauty of Joseon. And it's a little pump because with retinol is a byproduct of vitamin A. If they're being constantly opened and the jive is constantly be opened, it get off which it loses effectiveness so therefore with a pump is always the best so if you use any vitamin a retinol tretinoid all of those products is better to in a pump form it keeps it stabilized it keeps the effectiveness for much longer so i'm just using a small amount and then dab it onto the hand eye area And then on the rest of my face, I've been using this combination. It's from The Ordinary, near cinnamite, 20% plus zinc, 1%. So this is my evening routine, number one. And then this is one from The Ordinary, Granactive Retinoid, 5%. So I use this first and then this on the top. I've been using this combination since this spring. And before this, I've used to use tretinoin and uh, it didn't really work for me. But I found that this combination, not every, not every night, every other night, it works perfectly. Piece size and then just lift it up. 
It feels lovely, it doesn't sting at all, but maybe for the first time it does sting. You see, I have mild melasma now. This combination has improved my melasma so much. That's why I love it and I've been using it repeat. This is becomes my anti-aging melasma combo for the evening. And then this. And then on top of that, those two um, products, I use this La Roche Posay Sika Plast Balm B5 Plus. Can you see? Yeah, this is it. And this is, again, I used to use um, CeraVe with tretinoin. Didn't It worked, but it didn't really do too much. I just find it in, the improvement wasn't visible. But with this lot, this three combination, the improvement of my skin condition has been really, really visible. I see visible myself. But that means probably quite good improvement because I'm usually quite hypercritical about these skincare products. In my younger days, I used to be buying more expensive, very expensive brands and for skincare. They just keep your face moisturized and it's a very, very expensive moisturizer. If you want to maintain and uh, for cell regeneration, you must use tretinoin or vitamin A products. I found it is the best. So this balm has a repairing effect. Apparently this is one of the best selling products in South Korea. The girls loving them. I love K-beauty because being oriental, K-beauty is sort of like a temple we all worship because their stuff is so good and the Korean girls, they have always glowing skin and really nice. So I'm always a fan of Japanese products and the Korean products. So you can see that it absorbs into the skin really well. It doesn't have that excessiveness residue. Oh, you know, you roll those like a putty rolling off the skin. There's nothing like that. So it is, the molecules must be very, very fine. Because since I've been using this, I never got any pimples. I got never has had any adverse re uh, reactions or or on my skin because that's a good sign when the molecules are very very fine the skin absorbs it much better so therefore it keep the skin supple and the seal the oils again so these are the combo three products for this really really good set and i found it works wonders for me that is the completion of my evening skincare routine next i'm going to share with you the five anti-aging tips that i have sort of speaking from my own experience and uh, the tip number one is that start young if you are in your early 30s or late 20s, start as soon as possible. If you haven't, start early. The start early is, is the number one key thing. Don't wait until wrinkles and fine lines and the frowning lines, laughing lines all set and then that's too late. If they become visible, that's permanent. If you treat your skin start early make sure that nothing has started forming and then you can do it is looking after the skin keep it moisturized is the answer start early girls and number two i say this you might sound a cliche is cleansing make sure that you cleanse your skin at night i always do and make sure that i always if i have makeup always wash my makeup off always clean the skin twice superficial cleansing and deep cleansing twice do not use hot water or water warmer than your body temperature to wash the skin because heat is a major cause of wrinkles because you want to you do not want to heat heat up the skin heating up the skin warming up the skin helps the pores to open but you do not want your pores to open all the time body temperature slightly a bit warmer but not over 40 centigrades if you're not cleanse your skin really well and uh, 
the pores get clogged and you start to have like maybe acne and even though acne is a hormone triggered condition but however cleansing is very important to not to get acne um, so yeah i'm sure we all have a day that all oh, been out and had a few drinks oh let's sort of just go to bed and then don't cleanse the face with full face makeup on and uh, but if you could please make sure always cleanse the skin properly at night and because you do not want to moisturize on a dirty canvas you want to moisturize on a clean canvas so otherwise the product probably would have pushing all the dirt sits on the skin into the pores and condition make your skin condition just worsen it and so please cleanse properly. The next tip is moisturize. Moisturize and moisturize. Moisturizing is very, very important. It doesn't matter whether it's a five pound cream or 50 pound cream with whatever budget um, kind of like allows. Something like this doesn't cost very much. And it's such a big tube. It has 100 ml in it. It lasts probably for three months, you know, morning and night because you do not need too much. And uh, so moisturizing is very important and because it keeps the skin supple because as a human being, we made it with 75% at least is water. So all our cells and everything is 76% water. So we need to keep the skin subtle and uh, moisturized and always moisturize the face, moisturize the neck and always use a serum and doubling with whatever your moisturizer, but keep it moisturized. Even Vaseline is a, such a great moisturizer. This combo, my skin condition just changed and improved really dramatically. So therefore, moisturizing is very important. Find the ones that works for your skin. Uh, tip number four is changed skin products on a not a too regular basis but change it once you feel like it doesn't work for you anymore so you need something maybe slightly stronger and therefore it will improve the skin's condition because we age every day and uh, we need to have something that is like slightly stronger i'm talking about vitamin a products and uh, niacinamide things like this maybe get a slightly higher percentage but always keep yourself moisturized after that so yeah change the product from time to time if, if, if it no longer work don't keep on using it because when it stops working and then lines will form it will do nothing for you anymore tip number five is that using a good SPF during the day. So I used so many different SPFs in the past that it worked, it doesn't work. Sometimes I use it as a makeup base, sometimes I just like use it on top of all the other morning routine, especially SPF that I've been using and loving. This is Inzinkable. And uh, so I have been using this this year and uh, it helps to maintain my melasma. It hasn't got the melasma worsened over the summer. So I've been using this I really highly recommend this because this is done, is produced by a proper dermatologist. I think she she's based in the UK and I really love her product. And obviously she doesn't give me any commission to say a good word, but this is the good thing about a small channel because I'm not just saying good things about for the sake of saying good things. And I want you to open your pocket to buy things, but I say it because it does work, especially if you have melasma skin. This is the this is the great SPF to keep in your skincare routine like in the morning and uh, just after your moisturization and everything and just put that on big good good layer of it and then just go out. So make sure that if you wear makeup, always choose a really really good makeup base has SPF built in. And uh, so that's my final uh, tip for anti aging. So let me just go over it again. So starting early and as early as possible. Possible. and if you're in your mid 20 mid 20s onwards start early girls number two is cleanse cleanse your skin properly make sure that you're moisturizing on a clean canvas which this is the third one which is moisturizing moisturize properly and uh, find a moisturizer that is work for you and number four is that if you find a, a product or a range of products or a few products in your skincare routine doesn't work anymore change it and change to something that may be stronger and just adopting it, tweaking it and to make it work for your skin. And then number five is always use SPF and 
especially in the early and the morning routine because this have your skin protected because I'm not sure whether you've seen this um, photo of this lady that she's a driver steering wheel is like the American way and then the sun hits her on the left and her face just like so wrinkled on the left hand side but uh, on her, the right hand side of her face it still looks quite useful uh, I'm going to insert that picture for you so you can see and then, so therefore SPF is very important because photo aging is key uh, cause of wrinkles and all the skin aging problems uh, this okay. is end of my uh, video today I hope you like it and implement these tips uh, into your own uh, daily skincare routine and hopefully we all look young it doesn't matter how old we are and we want to look as useful as possible have good skin i hope you like today's video please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and i see you in my next one bye